Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have been thinking about doing this video for so long. Um, it is subscribers have picked my makeup. And when I say my makeup, I mean pretty much all of it except for some of the preparation and maybe um, the... Uh, Little, little things here and there, but pretty much all of my makeup. So I have taken, taking, I have taken a list. Um, I went through everybody's votes and I have all my products right here that voted number one. Um, update on the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage because some of you asked if, um, if I could do an update on it. And um, I happen to like it. I have just put it on and I already see a difference like the bags are gone. If you're wondering what this is, this is like my color corrector uh, for Makeup Revolution. So anyways, let's move on. And as I use the products, you will see what ranked number one in the votes. Now, as for my video, I will be doing, uh, it will be a little bit long because it is pretty much a full face. Um, so, so get a coffee, get your tea, some water, or whatever you are happy with, a snack, and let's get started. Now, the rules are, you pick my makeup, I do my makeup tutorial, and you follow now you do not have to have this like 45 or whatever it was uh, it's been a while touch primer etc etc there are dupes for everything and I don't mind the dupes as long as it comes out similar so I'll talk more about it as we move along so I'm using the touch primer which ranked number one so so easily i was really surprised i mean it is a very good primer don't get me wrong but i just i had some other ones on there i thought for sure might beat it but we all know touch is pretty doggone good i already have my um i put on my 50 spf by kula and um, so I've, you know, put on some skincare prior to this. I never trust a uh, foundation for all of my SPF because it just doesn't work that way. Um, so I always add my SPF. So let's move on if you want to see what that looks like. I have the Kula. And I think that came in a glossy box or something or another i also have the drunk elephant this is 30 spf the kula is 50 so depending on how hot i think it'll be this is also a 50 spf and i came in boxy charm or something or another okay so that was the primer now we have the foundation color pop rank number one I mix these two and it makes for me what I feel is the perfect color. I have light 65 and light 70 here. Shake them up a little. Shake, shake, shake. Get my Sonia Kashuk sponge. And give it a little pump. Give this one a little pump. And let's get started. I did order the new Beauty Blender um, foundation, and I did receive it yesterday, so I will be doing a full review with check-ins on that. Um, I'm super excited. I love the shape of it. It's so cute. It's a little box over here. So anyways, you guys are going to do redo my tutorial. And then um, you don't have to do a video. You can just 
tag me in a photo. You can um, post a video. Yeah. What's up, Munchkin? I'm recording, sweetie. So, just as long as your look ends up being pretty similar. That's some good coverage there. I'm just going to add one more drop of each. Shut the door, please. Yeah. Go watch your movie. This is like a medium to full coverage. And to me, when I put it on, it doesn't look matte. It almost looks luminous. I think I put too much, but all right. We'll be going full coverage today. Um, yeah, when I first tried this out, I was like, ooh, this is like a, a luminous coverage, but it says it is matte. And I happen to love it. The price is so phenomenal. If you're hearing that noise, it is my bracelet shaking. It's my, my background noise for you guys. Mama? What? Mama, go poop. Mama, go, sweetie. Go knock on the door. Okay. okay, so that is the foundation. Now, let's move on to the setting powder. Hourglass, one. So, let's do... Let's set the powder, the foundation. Okay. So I use my other beauty sponge here. I just kind of tap it on a little bit. Then after you guys submit your photo or video, I will pick a winner. I will give it about a week and a half. because so I still have my big giveaway coming up. On August 1st, I will be going live for that, for the purse, full of makeup. So you guys don't forget about that. Um, but this, I'm going to give, I'm going to extend it out past August 1st for sure, so I don't have back-to-back. -back. But, um, anyways, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys some time and, uh, the winner will receive a prize, which I have the Thirsty palette, the Crayola palette. Um, I have the, uh, uh, can't make straight. I have the, sorry about the light. I don't know why it does that. Um, oh, the, oh my God, I can't think straight. I had a lot of pre-filmed films, so, um, this is my first actual one since, anyways, since, yeah, the loss. So I'm still kind of like getting it together. Uh, oh yeah, I have the Mean Girls brush set. And I have a whole bag of stuff for giveaways. What much you Mommy, Tell me you have to go to the bathroom. Because Okay. So, I'm trying to get comfortable on this doggone chair. I need a chair that is like higher. I'm sitting on a pillow to raise myself. So, the Kat Von D eyebrow one, which is phenomenal. But first, I always use, I've gotten this habit of using this clear gel from um, Tarte, which I think I'm almost out of. But I do have a second one because I got it in my must have been a glossy box because I keep getting two of them so I'm gonna set my brows with this and then go in and add color with the Kat Von D I am so sorry if I block the camera. Like, I get so caught up in this doing it in this mirror and then I accidentally forget and block the camera.
this stuff sets the brows so well and then I just have to add like a little bit of color so hopefully I don't know if you guys you know care about my ritual of makeup but you're gonna see a lot of it today not all of it but a lot of it but I told you pretty much what I had already pre-done right when I get out of the shower I do my beauty care and then I add my um, sunscreen etc give this a moment to dry go in with my Kat Von D I'm going to use the brush with it Let's see if it's dry you want it dry okay now I'm going to go under just kind of draw the line underneath and then add the color pull the color up from the line if you guys can see that flipping light is so glaring i don't know why it's annoying me it's gotta be annoying you guys too so I go back and forth from pomades to the the uh, like Anastasia brow pencil the benefit one kind of change it up A lot of times I watch my grandkids in the morning because my daughter's at work and then uh, her boyfriend comes home and my granddaughter likes to stay here with me most some of the days as much as grandma can take I love my grandkids but I feel old um, right here, I don't know what's going on with my brows, but it's like they disappeared. I swear they're like missing MIA. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever, but my brows are not twins. I don't even think they're like sisters. I think they're cousins. And <laughs> yeah. So this one's really been giving me a difficult time. I'm gonna go off camera and finish that brow, otherwise I might be here for a year on it. Alrighty everybody, and welcome back. So I have gotten the brows to where they're gonna be and then I use my MAC paint pot to draw a line underneath and then to uh, prime v layout. So now, Soft Glam was the most voted. Surprise, surprise. Um, eyeshadow palette, which is an absolutely phenomenal palette. I love this palette. So I'm super happy with that pick, which any of the palettes I put on there was a great pick. But let's get started on this. And I'm going to go in with, I think, uh, I'm really enjoying this brush by Delium Tools. I'm telling you, when they have another cell, I may invest in a, another brush set because they are just really, really good. I'm looking for a brush. And I don't see it. I just saw it. Don't you hate that? Oh, okay. First, we're going to go in with the Carity E31 because I like this for like all over. I'm going to go in with, and I'm going to let you know specifically so you can follow this tutorial. By the way, dupes are acceptable. Um, I don't know if Hush has one yet or not, but we're going to go in with Tempura right here. And I'm just going to put that kind of all over the lid. 
very, very good setting color for the lid. I don't always set my lids. Sometimes I just straight go in the crease, but I'm going to set it today because this is the perfect color. And I do bring it up all the way to the brow bone. Same over here. My brows are so bad today. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm going to have to fix them. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the Dallium Tools 167. It is called a finger brush, so it is meant to apply like your finger, is what I'm assuming. Now I'm going to go in with the color Orange Soda, which is one of my favorite colors out of this palette. Very nice, light, orangey color. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to build it in the crease. So I am just building orange soda in the crease. So trying to build it up a bit. It is not a, a bright color. So it's not like you're going to get a bold orange. But it's a beautiful color. Okay, now I'm going to go and go into another color in the crease this is another favorite brush i've been using in the crease it is the golden triangle 781 crease brush from dallium tools these are amazing brushes okay i'm gonna put in burnt orange in the crease these are very soft shadows, but they're not only are they soft, but they are pigmented. Most of the time I come on here, I do not know what I'm going for in a look. I just open up a palette and go to town. So I am just building up the same color in the crease. Again, I really spend a lot of time on my eyeshadow. You guys don't have to, but it's just the way I am. Till I achieve like the exact thing I want. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not happy with it. Okay, now I want to go in. Kind of like the edge right here. I'm going to go in with... Oh, so many colors. Hmm. I'm going to go in with Sienna. We're going to build it up. Sienna. Yes, Munchkin. I'm recording, sweetie. Mm. Mm. You have seeds right here. Here, here. Go grab a napkin. Uh -huh. There was napkins on the couch. I'll yes. wipe it off. Mama? Huh? Wait. Mm, Not right now. I think he's sleeping. My cat's sleeping on the couch. So I'm building up the edge. And bringing it up just to the crease. Talk to me. Now I'm going to go in the same area and I'm going to darken it even more with mulberry. Okay. Just to deepen that color up a bit.
same thing on the other side. So you bring it up to the crease, but not over. If it goes over, then it's fixable. Okay, so I have primed my, lid, my lids with the Fenty Beauty primer, which I happen to really like. You just have to let it dry down a little bit. I know there is some fallout from, especially from the Shea Mulberry. Um, and I like to kind of cover up right here because it got into my crease. So I'm going back in with the orange soda and burnt orange just to go over it. Same thing over here. Orange soda and burnt orange. Okay. Blend, I'm gonna blend out the top. I still haven't picked the color for my brow bone yet, but we'll get there. Let's go on with the lids. So I'm going to use this one is good. This is another Delium Tools and it is the Shadow 777 brush. I love that color, the royal blue. Okay, now I'm going to go on my lid with, I'm going to make it two colors. So first we're going to go in with sultry which is a deep rose right here i'm not going to wet my brush at first so you have primer on my lid see how it goes on oh so pretty i like that color that's a beautiful color Okay, and then the same on this side. By the way, I've been testing out the Ace Beauty palettes. Um, I will be uploading more footage on it. Summer Hits, Summer Rest is the purple palette. This is horrifying. I've tried to contact them and they do not reply. I even went on, um, what was it, on uh, Instagram and private message them and no reply. I'm gonna use the Anastasia. I like this end right here because it packs on um, good on like the inner part of the corner. I'm gonna use Pink Rose there, right here. These are really soft, so you have to just tap in there. Ooh, that is such a beautiful color. I haven't used this palette in a while, so it's like new to me. Like, ooh, wow. So if, if everything goes as planned, I will go live August 1st. Um, I'll give a time next week, but if, if we have something come up like a service, the, you know, funeral, then, um, it will be changed. So I am going kind of like to the middle part and I actually feel like I want to put on a little bit more of the sultry shade in the middle. I'm going to spray my brush to get more oomph out of it. So pretty. These pinks are just so beautiful. Going over here just to make sure they're blended together. And I like that. I think it looks pretty good. I know I look like I have a rash under my eye, but it, it'll get all, all fixed up. Um, now I'm going to go in the brow bone with, let's see here. Let's go on the brow bone with glistening right here. 
right there. Get some sparkle up there. So if you watch this video all the way through, then you will know about the giveaway, a little bit more about it. Um, I know my videos can be long and I'm trying to work on shortening them, but um, this one's definitely going to be long because of the tutorial, so I can't really help that very much. Now we're going to clean up, we're going to go in. with this and we are going to wipe away under just under the eye because I have my foundation on and concealer is going to go here anyway so it doesn't matter I have to say hourglass mascara is now like so far my favorite Although I, I really like the Kush Milk. That's a good one. Gonna let that dry down just a moment. And while that dries down, we are going to, let's see here. I have the mascara or the concealer. And then the eyeliner. I have not used my ink lot in a while, which is crazy. So now it is concealer time. I'm using the Makeup Revolution, which you guys voted for. And I am using C6. So I'm going to go down and right under my eye. Now this is just how I do my concealer. You guys have your own way, I am sure. And then same over here. I like to get it right here because my nose tends to break through my foundation and um, show redness. And then I go here, kind of like a T-zone area thing. And then bam, look at that, whoa. Okay, and I take the Sonia Kashuk. This is such a great sponge, you guys. They're so affordable at Target. I will never buy another beauty blender again. And I also like the um, Real Technique sponges. This one just works so many ways, so unique. I love it. I love the texture. It just, it's amazing. I, have, I bought a two pack and I have another one I haven't used yet. So I have my backup, but I will definitely rebuy this sponge. So, so amazing. Now, if you guys are interested, um, I'm going to put on my baking powder. We're going to bake. I use my Real Technique sponge for this. Um, you can fast forward, which a lot of you probably will, but I use the KKW. I'm using it in the number three, which is like a banana powder. It is yellow. So it acts as a color corrector, which I need under my eye. I was going to use Huda, but I mix it up. I love my Huda baking powder, but it's so good. I like using this, and I use, I actually just placed the order um, for KKW for the new natural palette. Uh, I got the bundle. I think I have a little too much powder going on there. Um, I always sit around my nose real good because, again, it breaks through a lot. So when I ordered from 
the um, new collection, I figured I'm gonna throw in another, another brightening powder because, well, because you pay shipping and I'm gonna make it worth it. So I wait for my big purchases, save up and make sure I know what I need, what I want. <clears throat> I didn't really need any more baking powder, setting powder because I have quite a bit and uh, but the brightening powder is very unique. I do like the Becca one as well, but the KKW one is only $18 and uh, again, if you make a good order or you wait until a holiday and she does like a 20% off like 4th of July was great. Um, it makes it so worth it. So that was that. And now while we bake, I can do my bronzer, which this was the top number one voted. It was a Smashbox Cali Contour. And I absolutely love this bronzer. I will be using, I'm showing you all the brushes so you know, this is Iconic London and it is for contouring. The unique shape of it is great. The handle is perfect to hold. So while I'm baking, I'm gonna go in and I always mix this shade here and this shade here. What, Michigan? Right here. Okay. And then bring it up. So you want this narrow side down. Bring it up. Bring it up. And then up here as well. And then I need a little bit more powder. This contour set, I thought, you know, oh, you know, I'm not a big Smashbox fan for their eyeshadows. But when I bought this, I was super surprised at how well I liked it. Or bronzing, I should say. I always mix up contour and bronzing. But I don't contour a lot. I bronze a lot more. And sometimes I do both. But I am just bronzing for today. So this is really good right here. It's perfect. Genevieve, you got your movie. Go on. Hmm? No, leave Todd alone. And then I like to take the light powder in here. And just, this is the Wonder Woman collection from Luxie. And brighten up underneath and right there. Same on this side. Okay, and then so if you get like let's say a bronzing powder and it was super super deep for your skin, take a you know a highlighting a lightening powder whatever, um, you know, the white powder to uh, tame it down. They call it it's a contour powder. My lord. Okay, so anyways, let's move on. Uh, blush. You guys voted on Tarte. So I brought out the Tarte and this has eight or one, two, three, four, five, ten. So ten blushes. Well, they're not all blushes. So we have a lot of blushes and I think like two highlighters. Um, Tarte. I love Tarte. They, their products smell so good and, um, uh, I used to have a lot of their individual blushes, but I gave them to my sister because they are hypoallergenic and she can only use hypoallergenic makeup. It smells so good. So I think I'm gonna go in with these two up top. It is Angelic and Fortunate. I'm gonna mix these two. So Fortunate, Fortunate and Angelic right here. I'm just going on with both. Again, this is the Lexi Wonder Woman collection. I always wait for the cells. They were half off. Gotta wait for the holidays. Spend. 
officially Black Friday, boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's that. Now I think it is time to take off what is left of the baking. I think we're done baking. I just wipe it a little bit. Get off any residual powder. I am using the Lexi 522 tapered highlighter, but I'm not using it for a highlighter, obviously. I'm using the KKW highlight, or light, not highlight. Dabbing my brush, and then I highlight underneath here. I love this powder. I'm so glad I bought it when they have this sale. And I just repurchased one for a backup. The Beck is good and it has a cooling sensation to it. This brightens and I like that. Okay. And I love the little tiny mirror. So cute. Okay, so that is done. Alrighty. All right, now I'm gonna go under my eye. So I'm like, I don't know what color I wanna go under my eye with. So many beautiful ones. We're gonna go with um, Cypress Umber right here. I'm trying to use most of the palette. I'm going to bring that to the edge. And I'm actually wanting to bring it out just a little right here, kind of like a wing, and connect it to the top. Kind of like smoked out. It was so hard for me to do a neutral look. I get so caught up in all the colors and so. I'm trying. I actually bought the Tarte Aspen palette. Because I was like, you know, I need some tame palettes. It's not like I don't have any, but this one is super tame. Um, to try and uh, do some toned down looks. So if you guys want to see me do a look with that palette. I do have it, and it is a beautiful palette. It smells so good. Again, Tarte's smell is just amazing. Connecting it to the top. This side, I swear there's always one side that like goes better than the other. It's crazy. This side went better. Way better. This side's just being a pain in my butt. So at the end, I will give the challenge probably a week or two, and then there will be a very good prize that I already have. Now I think I'm gonna go in with, God, I love all these colors. Choose Dusty Rose. Beautiful color. Make sure you tag me. If I miss you, hit me up and let me know. I don't ever, ever do it intentionally. So this one, I kind of went from the middle all the way over, but not on the inner corner. And I kind of blended it with the other color. That is a beautiful color. Okay. Now we need a um, one in my corner. Let's see here. I have something itching me. I think it's one of my hairs. Oh, it's driving me nuts. I think we're going to go on a fairy. This is one of my favorite colors in this palette is fairy 
I love that color. I've used it on my lid. It is so beautiful. Such a unique yellow shade. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I like that. That is gorgeous. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to the Voted Ingla Eyeliner, which I have not used in a while. I'm surprised. I've been using a lot of liquid liners, like my Fenty and then Too Faced. So I'm going to use my Delium Tool Small Angle Brush. It will be the first time that I use it. Let's hope it works as well as my essence brush. That is my eye robot. Not bad, not bad. Kind of want to wing it out a little bit. See how that goes. I usually don't do my eyeliner on camera because it can be a real nightmare. So I'm going to do one eye on and one eye off. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing with my eyeliner. Inglot is so great that they even sell a liquid in case your liner dries out. And I believe it works as well for like potted shadows. I should buy a little tube of it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. They don't match perfect, but I'm okay with it. And then I did under my eye with the same Inglot black liner. You can use any black liner. Now I'm going to do my mascara. My daughter was actually talking to me about tattooing her eyebrows. Like a temporary, but it lasts for like years. If any of you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments section below. So Bad Gal Bang won the vote. I have not used this in a while. Hopefully it's still good because I've been using the Kush Milk and now the Hourglass. I love the wand on this. It is amazing. So if you're still watching the video, I will be doing not only the thousand subscriber giveaway, but I will also be doing the pop-up giveaway. I have not forgotten. So there will be two winners, one main winner for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. New subscribers are included. Um, I will be hand picking. I will print out everyone's names. Um, the more you comment, not like 10 comments under one video, but under each video, the more entries. Uh, if you've watched the video, not just like breeze through it, um, I can tell my watch time on my computer and that helps me out. So that counts. Um, so main thing is being subscribed and watching my videos and commenting. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, if you can, it's Susan Young 1974 that is just an added bonus, tagging friends, not false accounts, not retagging people that are already tagged. Um, 
that helps and that will count as extra giveaway or extra entries. And then Susan Young 2174 on Twitter as well. Um, follow me on Twitter as an added entry. But just as long as you're subscribed and you are active on my channel, you have not come and gone, you have not unsubscribed, um, you will be included. I know life gets busy, so if you haven't been on here in a while but you're still subscribed, you are included. So I'm just building up the mascara. I don't wear fake eyelashes, so... If you do, it is perfectly okay. This is great mascara. I forgot how good it was because I haven't used it in a while. Like, Kush took over my life for a while. And then, uh, now our glass is right on up there. Okay, so... That is it for the mascara. So just line the bottom with a black liner and the, wing it out. Um, get the closest to the look as possible. Now we are gonna move on um, to some highlight. You picked your free star. I was not specific on what shade, what color. So let's check it out. Now we have, these are the more warm tone, and then we have the more cooler tone. I'm going to mix it up. So let me get my favorite highlighter brushes out, which is my Fenty and my Morphe Y14. So let's see what we're going to go in with. Let's see here. Kind of need to like okay let me see this is bugging me okay guys so that is my finished look I went and got my hair down and put in my oils in it um, I am wearing the Kylie Jenner. I absolutely love these lipsticks from her in the tube in the color Truffle. They are very smooth and creamy and not drying on the lips, which I need right now because it's been so hot. Like everything is dry, my hands and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and use my um, oil that I created on my own for some shimmer. This is a new one. I do have a pre-recorded video on that. I just have not put that one up yet, but this has like halo effects and rose gold, if you can see it in there. Um, if the next winner would like me to make one and ship it with their winning on the pop-up giveaway or the purse, let me know and I will include that. This is like an off-the-shoulder Jack Skellington shirt. It's like my favorite. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial challenge. So subscribers, you guys have picked my makeup. So I use, I'm going to go down the list one more time, Touch of Primer, ColourPop Foundation, Kat Von D for Brows, Hourglass Setting Powder, Soft Glam, Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette Bronzer by Smashbox uh, Highlighter Jeffree Star Mascara Bad Gal Bang or if I it's all whatever this is my dog they all come in here because it's my getaway and they want to get away uh, Makeup Revolution Concealer uh, Tarte Blush Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray and the Inglot Eyeliner. Those are what you guys pick for me to use. I have the products, so obviously I use them. You don't have to use those identical products, so please 
don't say I don't have them or whatever. Um, just try to dupe it if you can. This is, uh, I think, a great challenge. Now that I have done my tutorial, it is your guys' turn to follow. I try to keep it more neutral. I got a lot of pink on the lid. I did smoke it out a little bit on the under eye. Um, so do your best and there will be an amazing prize at the end. So we are on July 27th. I think I'm gonna end it around, around July 10th. I think around July, that's almost two weeks. Um, about two weeks because July, or around, oh my God, did I say July? Around August 10th, okay? So August 1st, if you've been here and you're paying attention, going live unless something comes up because my life is just things are, you know, things happen. Um, I will keep you updated. Giveaway, doing the Ian Burke purse full of makeup to uh, one winner I'm going to hand pick. I am printing out names as you comment, as you follow me, as you've subscribed. Um, and they go in the bag with the purse. I will hand pick. I will also hand pick the pop-up giveaway winner, which will win either the Mean Girls brush set or the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. Um, etc. etc. I have stuff put away. Um, and then on this tutorial challenge, I'm setting it, I'm setting it for August 10th. There will be a grand prize winner for the best dupe look. You do not have to show the whole, like if you do a video, you can cut parts out, but you do have to do the whole face. This one is the whole face. Eyes, blush, bronzer, uh, everything that was on my list, you have to do. And you don't have to do the exact same um, brand, but you have to dupe it. So you can use anything on the brows, just dupe it. Anything for blush, just dupe it. Anything on the eyes, just dupe it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you participate in this challenge. I find them to be very interactive and very fun with my subscribers as I like to think of you guys as not only subscribers but uh, put a face to the name as people and what I call my friends. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up. I know it was long and I hope you stay tuned because I really enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.